Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to more Tales of Vesperia. Last episode we defeated Barbos. Uh, it was a pretty easy boss battle for the secret mission and oh, got a cutscene. I know we gotta get out of town, but I'm dying here. So, um, why is Judith coming along with us anyway? With the circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving. Oh, we've got another skit. Let's go listen to that. Hey, you mind if I ask a question? I need to be sure of something. What is it? That big monster we saw? It was talking, right? Like our language. Yes, I heard it with my own ears. You all heard it too? I guess it wasn't my imagination after all. Who's ever heard of a monster that speaks a human language? Just what is that monster? Okay, so as I was saying, <laughs> last episode, defeated Barbos, got the secret mission, pretty easy. And then, Basically, everyone was splitting up. You know, Raven left, Judith left, Rita left, and another cutscene. <laughs> Keep getting interrupted. What happened to taking a break? It's probably a good time. Looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. When we have time to take a longer rest, we've got to decide a few things about our guild. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big, and then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves. That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city. That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah. <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody's supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes. You've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws. For the guild's sake. And my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern. But it's alright. He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh. I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay. So from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too! Then... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Okay, so pretty much the cutscenes covered it. <laughs> Estelle got attacked by a uh, giant monster that was talking English, and Yuri's gonna start a guild. So that's pretty awesome, I guess we have to speak to everyone now. Oh, Yuri. Hey, you're not asleep? 
No? Is something the matter? No. I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. I'm a bit jealous. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> How can I decide? Flip a coin. That's how I decide. <laughs> what? You're not asleep? Nah. I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. I'm gonna think of something really cool. Sure. I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What now? I thought of a name! The Super Ultra Courageous Braves! <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that, then. Right! I could have sworn like I remember making my own guild name. Give you the option to do it. I think I just went with Vesperia because I couldn't think of anything, but... <laughs> Let's go speed of Judith. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Nah, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will, but in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. Oh. I'm guessing just repeat left, wherever repeat is, there he is. Repeat. You're keeping watch too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. <laughs> you should get some rest too. Okay. Talk to Esteligan, maybe? What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? <laughs> Alright, go speak to Repeat again. So let's rest. Alright, I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle. What are you going to do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, 
and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desier continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desier. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kogor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Oh, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope, no exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way we can all continue the journey. All right, super ultra courageous braves, fall out! W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name! We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star. Cool! Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it. Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat. We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier. Didn't you want to take a break at Heliord? Ah, uh, who needs it? Either way, we can't get to Torum without passing through Heliord. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. All right, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliord, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Ah, that's how you get the name Vesperia. Could have sworn I like the previous game, got to make my own name, but... Whew. Let's head to Heliord, which I think is just there, right? Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. I quit the Knights to find my own way of doing things, but I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Nothing that guy says could get to me. He doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No. Oh, it's so got to him. <laughs> Alright. So this is... Oh wait, no, that is the... Oh no, that is Heliod, okay. Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! 
He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well, come on, we should hurry to the inn. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache, and I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, man. Is that something behind here I missed? Oh, no, I forced my little chest. While we're here, might as well just, uh... Is he have new weapons in? Oh, he did. Okay, so time to buy some stuff, because that axe is actually pretty cool looking. Uh, high power yo-yo. Yes, we'll get them too. Get three of them. Get that. And while I'm here, let's just get lots of gels. Cannot afford lemon gel? Oh, we got 15, that's why. Just want to get a bottle of everything so we, uh, we good. And I've got no more money left. Okay. Nice. Just bought a bunch of stuff. There you go. Wait, I think there's repeat as well, I missed. There you go. I'm gonna quickly save it as well because it's been a little while. Okay, and let's go rest at the inn. I guess I can't let things go either. Oh. Let's head to the Blastia core. Alright, where are you, Judith? And she's not here. Well, oh, there she is. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Baul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. 
He's a strange one. Well, shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. We're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment, too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, just don't forget what we're out here for. I know. <laughs> oh, man. There's sometimes when just Estelle just... <laughs> oh, and her, her attitude comes out a little bit. It's just it's so cute. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah, doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Miss Estelle! How have you been? Who is this? We helped these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Kumor gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Kumor? From the Imperial Knights? Yes, he is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is Father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. Then if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful! What do we talk to the guard? There you go. I'd like to pass if I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it. All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? 
Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. Well then. <laughs> Gotta go with Judith, because this is the easiest way. Well, Judy, you're probably the best choice. Yes, I think so. Aren't you sure of yourself? Well then, shall we? Where are we going? To buy a dress, of course. I can't seduce anyone in these rags. <sighs> Isn't what you're wearing good enough? No, no, my pride would never allow it. I don't really understand, but she appears to be going to buy a dress. So she's going to see the peddler then? With Judas seducing the guard, this plan can't fail! I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, Carol. What can I do to be like Judith? Hmm? Did you say something, Estelle? Oh, no, just talking to myself. <laughs> oh, Estelle's getting a little bit jealous. Alright, um... Let's see if we can... Buy a dress from this dude. We got this guy, right? Excuse me, I'm looking for some fascinating outfits. Fascinating? Are you out for a date? Ugh, how plain. Hmm. Well, uh, how about this one? Nope. All right, then what about this? What exactly are you looking for? For example... <gasps> no way! I have nothing like that! Then could you possibly make one for me? Let's see... If you brought me a soft tail, basilisk scale, and a small bird feather, I could make you something nice. You should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city. All right, let's go. Judas really into this, isn't she? Seems like she likes this sort of thing. I might already have the ingredients. Oh, you've brought the yeah. items. Wait here while I make you something nice. What do you say? Does it look okay on me? You don't have to change your costume like that. So grown-ups are interested in these kind of outfits. All is ready. Let's go. Hey, are you seriously going out in that outfit? Huh? Something wrong with this? Well, I could see everything. Uh, never mind that. It's very cute, and I have a feeling that this is gonna work. Before that, could you do something about your outfit? I like how Estelle changed as well. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's go seduce this guard. Oh, it's so hot out here. Hello there. Oh, oops. Did you get an eyeful just now? <laughs> No, I didn't see anything. I didn't even see if there was anything to see. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. Uh, it's a shame. Are you going to make me say it out loud? Uh... I've fallen madly in love with your big, strong work ethic. <laughs> madly in love? Mm-hmm. So, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, um, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just have to come out and make it clear. Would you like for you and me to have uh, a little fun? Yeah, but but uh, there's someone back in the capital that I promised to marry. No, oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. But I, uh, um. Good work. Can't believe adults can be easily fooled like this. And how long are you gonna stay in that costume? I guess this calls too much attention. I'll leave it at the shop. But what was the fun thing you were talking about? Going for a swim. Oh, Estelle. So innocent. Alright, on to the next step. Huh? 
It should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who? Me? Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. Nah, it's got to be Yuri. I guess I'll have to do it. But really, a knight of all things? Oh well, if this helps us fool them, all the better. Hey! Quit goofing off over there! Huh? What's the matter? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. What do you mean, out of hand? The mage we captured is running wild! Hurry up! Roger. Okay, be right back. Huh? Yuri? Wonder what mage she's talking about, but... Oh, men are so weak. <laughs> oh, man. Just... Judith is hilarious. It's gotta be in the little holding cell, I'm guessing. What mage do we know that run... Well, it's a bit, you know, wild sometimes. <laughs> you got a lot of nerve locking me up in a dump like this. Do you have any idea who you're dealing with? Get your superior out here now! Rita, what is she doing here? Calm down already! I'll, I'll go call him right now! Shut up! Well, she hasn't changed much. L let me go! Settle down, it's just me. Yuri? Uh, are you okay? Rita? And everyone's reunited. Well, we still need Raven, Flynn, and then wouldn't mind Patty coming. Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hopelone Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't! You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Qmor. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Um... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait! We're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. Hey, Rita has joined the party. Good. You know, in knight's armor, you really do look like a knight, Yuri. You're quite handsome. You're getting a compliment, you know. It wouldn't hurt to smile. I'm not really crazy about this getup. I've got bad memories of Flynn laughing his head off about how silly I looked in this. Well, I think I get how Flynn felt. <laughs> it's like somebody dressed you up. <laughs> no, not at all, Yuri. It's good because it's so different from who you are. Leave it to Yuri to be different, even in a normal suit of armor. This is why I hate this uniform. <laughs> Hide! Ah, my lord. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogo now, sir? <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. 
And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Dawn is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. The Union can't possibly hope to stop me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, that guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right. Let's go free them from the idiots. All right. If we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital. So even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air crinning. I just thought I'd say hi or something. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on. We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. Not all together. We're still missing the old man. Down we go to rescue some uh, civilians. Alright, what we got around here then? Sup, wanna run? Cooking for the laborers morning and night, there's no time to rest. Well, you should be running away now, because... Oh, what's going on here? You damn slacker, there's no time for rest. On Sir Cumor's orders, the construction must be finished in under a month. Oh, what are you doing? What the hell? You plan disobeying too? You know, I've never been good at taking orders. Time to kick his butt. Uh, oh, The music's changed a little bit. If I remember correctly, I swear like the music changes... Like, I would say like, maybe acts. Like, well, obviously we did the first like, act or arc, whatever you want to call it, part of the game where, you know, getting the blast of your core back, and now it's a different, you know, problem going on. I think there's another problem at the end. I think like everything changes a little bit, which is really cool. So I think this is like season two of Tales of Xperia. Amazing, Carol. <laughs> that bag's just amazing. <laughs> My bag? Oh, man. Carol's big bag. So did you come to this town because you heard you could become nobility too? Yeah, I guess you heard the same thing. About that. Why don't we skip the small talk? Shouldn't you be heading back up there? Oh yes, that's right. I've got to tell my friends that I'm okay. Thank you so much. You may have, you may have uh, spared him from the truth now, but he's still going to find out sooner or later. What are you talking about? Just don't have the time for our long conversation right now. <laughs> Whatever. Not like I care anyway. She cares a little bit. Who's here? And a group of those red eyes! Looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss? It sure looks that way from here. Get to work! No slacking off, you worms! 
Look, that's... It's Teagle! If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! Who? Yuri Loa? What are you doing here? Uh, princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you. You'll be all right now. Jaeger, get rid of them. Yeah, my lord. Nothing personal, you see? Just business. Okay. Uh, I don't know the secret mission for this. Alright, it's gotta be secret mission for Jaeger, surely. Uh, let me quickly look. There is a secret mission for Jaeger, but not right now. A bit later on when we fight him again, so let's just uh, pick out the red eyes. The next uh, secret mission is one I do remember because we're going to be battling, uh, battling an old friend. <laughs> Alright, oh wait, I should really use the magic lens out on Jaeger. Where's my magic lens? There it is. Ow. Ow. There's a hurt car in the background, that's why right. I'm dead. Go away, dude. Okay, finally use the magic lens and he's got a lot of HP left. I love Jaeger's weapon with that like scythe that turns into guns and like crossbows and stuff. Ooh, okay, okay. Still more red eyes left. Right, life bottle. Go on, Judith. Come on, come on. Ow. Now it's hard to get your effects in. Right. Just that dude left. Ow. Sorry, Jaeger. Gotta deal with this guy first. No, I'm trying. Ow. He just loves to run away from me, doesn't he? Ow. Oh my god. He runs so much faster than I thought. Alright, I'm gonna quickly... Lemon gel. Right, there you go. Right, now we can focus on the big boy here. Oh, oh. Not as easy as Barboss was. <laughs> Almost down. How could the Empire cover for such evil? We can't just let it go. We gotta catch him. This power will make me. I must admit. You're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade. Flynn? Well, send him away. We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine. I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah, what is this? Please step this way. Move! Move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time! What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait! Our job is to rescue Teagle! But... 
I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? I yes. Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah. I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. All right. Yuri, wait! Gotta run, Flynn. Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... <sighs> so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita. You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to give chase next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.